Thank you so much for tuning in to Teaching for the Culture. This is your host, Bianca Goolsby, and I am so excited to meet this fabulous change agent, Hillary. She has been in the community doing some amazing work, and so I just want to take an opportunity to highlight the work she's doing and also uplift the projects that she's working on. So, hey, Hillary, how are you? Hello, I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. So I'm glad that I have you today on this special, lovely day. So can you tell us more about you? Yeah. Um, so again, like you said, I'm Hillary Van Dyke. Um, I am a jack of all trades at this point. <laughs> um, and the main big things that I'm working on right now is I'm the executive director of the Green Book of Tampa Bay. Um, that is a black owned business directory that helps people be just intentional about how they spend their money. But beyond the directory, we also have lots and lots of um, ways that the community can connect and engage um, from different events to uh, celebrating the arts with us. We do a lot of things around the black arts space as well in mainly St. Pete, but trying to branch out to Tampa. Um, I'm also the CEO of Invincible Summer Enterprises and through that do consulting and training uh, and currently have been collaborating with the African American Heritage Association to lead historical bike tours as well as historical walk tour, walking tours through St. Pete and the Deuces as well. Um, and then I teach yoga through my LLC as well, which is awesome. Just all the different ways and communities where you can do yoga. And then the last thing I'll say is I'm also enrolled at USF. I'm in pursuing a doctorate in social sciences, curriculum and instruction, just because I'm really interested in uh, how we can teach social studies in authentic ways. So that's a really interesting degree to be pursuing in this moment in time, <laughs> for sure. But um, yeah, those are those are the things that I do. I I'm love sure. it. So my question is, what does freedom and fulfillment look like for you? Oh, whoa, that's a question. Um, so I think the for me, for a long time, I really. Um, I think answered that fulfillment part of the question through like being career oriented and like, oh, if I just do this thing or that thing. And as I have really started to do more and more, I think for me, fulfillment is two things, mainly being able to help people come out of their comfort zone in some sort of activity they're doing. Um, and that's possible through, you know, hikes outdoors, through learning, um, as well as even through yoga. So really like helping people experience things they've never experienced before. Um, and then especially when they go and keep doing that thing without me, that's even cooler, even though I get jealous. And then I think freedom is really about just being able to be your full authentic black self in a space without feeling um, the need to hide any parts of you. And so whenever I can be a part of helping people be in a space where they feel that freedom, um, I want to try to create those spaces. I love it. I, I love it. And so thank you for being transparent and, and sharing that with us. What type of community events and activities do you want to uplift and let people know about? Well, one thing I forgot to say is I'm also a volunteer leader for Outdoor Afro, which is a nat so an Outdoor Afro is a national nonprofit organization that seeks to celebrate and inspire Black leadership in nature. Um, and I'm not necessarily here to like soapbox about that, but I would say if you have interest in being outdoors, surrounded by people that look like you, you should definitely find us on Facebook or Meetup. Um, the Green Book of Tampa Bay is also doing their anniversary party, three year anniversary, March 5th from uh, 12 to three at Studio at 620. The theme is Harlem Night, so you get to dress like a flapper and come be cute. So um, I would highly recommend and ask people to sign up for that. You can find that at our website, greenbooktv.com. And the historical tours, some of them are already set up um, for public ones, but mostly they actually happen as private tours. So if you have interest, whether it's your family, maybe your church group, um, a group of people you work with, whatever it is, uh, in setting up a private tour, just send it, finding me at hillarybandike.com and setting that up. 
That is cool. That is cool. So I will make sure that all the links are displayed in the comments so that you're able to have easy access to it. So I want to open the platform for you to kind of share a message that is on your heart that you want to share with the community. What would that be? A message on my heart. So I think there's a lot of power in, um, in learning and just staying educated. So just wherever you can go out and learn more about your community. Um, at Green Book, we have this thing called the History Spree, where we try to encourage people to go visit different museums and walking tours available in Tampa Bay, because we want folks to have like a full appreciation for everything that has been done for us to be able to sit here and be in different spaces with each other. Um, so learn the things and don't let outside noise um, color your understanding of that history that we have here. Yes, yes. I just thank you again for just taking moments out of your day just to um, speak to us and letting us know the great work that you're doing and how the community can support you. So thank you again. And for those of you that are tuning in, please make sure that you follow her and her links and everything to connect with her will be in the comments so that you can connect with Hillary and the amazing things that she's doing. So until next time, peace. Thank you.